Hey guys, so here's another Project Light Process video and it's another week where I only took one photo, which is a photo of my beautiful classmates, Dia and Tanya. So on the left is Dia and she was the first woman I noticed on the first day. Like I liked her hairstyle, the hair color and how it just complimented her beautiful face so well I was just so enamored like I felt like she was the woman that brightened up the room when she came into a room and she's such a sweet girl to be around with and then Tanya's on the right and she is such a kid at heart I feel like I'm in middle school or high school when I'm around her and I love going karaoke with her and just love singing together doing duets and she has such a beautiful voice and I absolutely miss them so much. So I added that Heidi Swap Fabulous chipboard sticker because they are fabulous. And I added that pink heart next to it. And you'll see me um, fumbling with the alpha stickers. And I was thinking of adding their names, but I decided not to because I think I will do that in the earlier layouts which I will do soon, hopefully. Once I get those photos in, which I ordered today, finally. <laughs> and, um, yeah, because I don't like to repeat stuff in my layouts, even though I kind of am a hypocrite because I sometimes do that. <laughs> anyway, so here's the title card, and I added the Heidi Swap Remember Chipboard sticker because I really wanted the title to transition well with the quote so when you put it together it says remember life is always better with a smile so I just liked how that transitioned very well and then I used one of these stickers for the Ami Tan or from the Ami Tan plus one collection just to give that um chipboard sticker a bit more of a background instead of just that orange background and um i also added a washi tape which is my favorite washi tape of all the washi tapes i owned and these are the colorful cameras that have different icons on the lens like a heart a star and so forth and i got those at hobby lobby from i think it's part of the paper studio collection <clears throat> then I used my tiny attacher to staple the chipboard sticker because I didn't want, you know, to move around or whatnot. But I have to say the adhesive on those are very, very strong. So you don't really have to worry about those if you don't want to staple those um, chipboard stickers from Heidi Swap. Then I added some gray enamel dots. I don't really like how I placed them, but I decided just to leave it as is. Because I'm trying not to think or overthink too much on these cards. Because then it'll take me longer to finish the layout. And I really hate that. <laughs> so I added um, one of those Cosmo Cricut um, stickers. The transparent ones. And it's January. And then I decided to write down the dates. Because I want to save my numbers as much as possible. And then I used the Tim Holtz mini alphas for the week wk and i also wrote the week number right next to it in pen and that is pretty much it for my title card so i really liked how that came out and then onto the three by fours on the ampersand i just added some black enamel dots and i absolutely suck at placing enamel dots I really do like when Inky Cole does it it's so natural she doesn't have to think about it that's why I I love watching her um, YouTube videos and I just get so inspired so you'll be seeing me really fumbling with this and I also have to mention that once I'm done with that row it will also like transition well from the title card to that particular row because it's another sentence and I just love how <laughs> it comes out in the end but yeah here this is where you see me like just fumbling and fumbling I just decide just just leave it there Ooh. 
simple card. <laughs> but yeah, it took me a while just to place the enamel dots. So here I added the pink heart enamel. Simple. <laughs> and then on the next card, I decided to add the Heidi Swap puffy stickers, the two stars that are yellow, just to make that card pop a bit. And this Heidi Swap pack was like, what the, you know, <laughs> it's like, why did they package that so difficult? Like, usually cellophane packets have those flaps that you can just easily open and take it out. But this one had no flaps whatsoever. So I had to rip it out and use my scissors to cut one side open just to get those star puffy stickers out. Like, <sighs> I really hope Heidi Swap improved her packaging because those I actually bought on clearance so I hope the next time I buy her stuff it's a lot easier to take out and then on this quote card I just simply outlined the star with my pen and it says a good snapshot what does it say a good snapshot keeps a moment from running away so I really liked that quote so yes, I outlined that just to make it pop a bit. And then here, this is where you'll see me, um, like on the 4x6 pockets, I just put all 3x4 cards because I don't have that many um, 4x6 cards from the edition because like I said before, I split it with my cousin. So on this journal card, <laughs> I was so fortunate that this snatcher did not get my stuff like I was at cro a crossroad I was walking to school and I had my earphones blah sorry I had my earphones on and I had this feeling I should turn around so I took my earphones off and the snatcher was on a bike and he was his hand was in the air about to unzip my book bag and when I turned around and looked at him he biked off and he was so lucky he had a bike because if he did not, I would have literally punched him in the face. Like, oh, guys and girls, if you really want to go to the Philippines, please be aware of your surroundings because there are snatchers and they are very cunning. So always keep your purses or your bags or backpacks in front of you. Like, you need to have your eye on it because these snatchers... Mm -mm. <laughs> so that was the bad story of that week so on this card I added a polka dot washi tape or a pink polka dot washi tape and I did not like how it looked and I did not feel like taking it off so I just went with it and then I added a solid pink washi tape on the bottom and top and I still did not like it. Like, oh my god. But like I said, I didn't want to overthink it. I didn't want to take off stuff and whatnot. Just go with the flow. When you guys are scrapbooking and doing Project Life, don't stress over it. It's This kind of stuff is not supposed to be stressful. Just go with it. Improvise whatnot and it, it will come together smoothly sometimes you'll get cards that it's like ill when you look at it but it's a learning process kind of so I decided to add the lucky puffy sticker from Heidi Swap and it looks like it blends in very well like a chameleon <laughs> So I had to trace that with my black Sharpie just to um, make it pop so people can see it when they look at my album. And it really goes well because I do add an arrow at the top pointing at my journal card because I do feel lucky that that snatcher was not successful. And to be honest, like, even though lucky is in my vocabulary, I do say it sometimes, but it's one of those words when you look at it, I hate saying it for some reason. I just, 
I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. I don't know if you guys have that. If you do, let me know in the comments below because I don't want to feel alone on that. But I don't know. It's just one of those words when I look at, I just don't like looking at it. It just, I don't know. So that's pretty much it for that card. To be honest, I it's an okay card. I, I wish I could have changed that background on that, behind that lucky sticker. Maybe, maybe I should have used a darker color like black or something. But that's okay. So I added some washi tape on the back of those cards just so they don't um, slip on each other's sides when you're flipping pages or whatnot. And yeah, that's why I saved those um, bits I cut off from that previous card. So I did the same thing on these 3 by 4 cards. I added some washi tape just so they will stick together. And on the heart um, 3 by 4 I do not decorate it whatsoever. I just left it. Because I, for some reason, I didn't want to over embellish this layout, even though it does look very plain. But I, I don't know, I just like how that card just looks. It just looks perfect as is. There are some people that have to embellish every card and I f I understand like I feel the same way but there's just some times where you just have to leave a card as is <laughs> so I added a word sticker from that snap blah snap life documented packet and I decided to use um just another ordinary day and I had to cut the beginning and end part of that sticker so it will fit on that card and that blue card is the card that I will actually write the dates of that week and what I did on those days even though there are some days where it was not applicable because <laughs> on my Facebook I, I didn't write any statuses or nothing on those pages so I think the only good day I had on that week was hanging out with Tanya and Rizzy, who is my other classmate, and we went to song hits, doing karaoke. Doing karaoke, I mean, like, here in the States, you don't really do karaoke, but, you know, in Asia, they love karaoke. I mean, they love it. And it's so much fun, like, doing karaoke when you're with friends compared to family, because family's like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but with friends, it's so much fun. And I love doing karaoke with my classmates. It's such a good stress reliever, especially if you are um, doing medical school. And then I added a word sticker on the bottom, day in and day out. And that's pretty much it for that layout. You'll see me fumbling with showing you the whole layout. But um, I really hope you guys enjoy this layout. And I will try to do um, Project Life videos Monday and Friday.